Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this week we're wrapping up our first series, and uh, um, it's been so great to see um, throughout this whole series how God has moved and worked um, and how He has made promises or covenants with people and how He's keep keeping those. And that's something that as we continue and as we grow in our studies, we're going to continue to see that theme throughout the entire Bible that God makes promises and He accomplishes those through us. Um, so we've seen uh, Him make a covenant and a promise with Noah. Um, and then recently in chapter 12, as we're finishing up this week, we've seen His covenant with Abraham, um, Abram, as uh, before he's called by God. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't know about you, but there are several promises of God throughout the Bible that I need to be reminded of and that I hold dear. Um, and I think that that's part of the reason why uh, we see them throughout the entire Bible. And one of them that uh, I need to be reminded of and I hold dear to my heart is this promise that God is with us um, and that He will never leave us, He won't forsake us. Um, and you can find several scriptures where that's evident. One of my favorites is in Isaiah. And it's Isaiah 41 and verse 10. And it says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. And that's not the only place in Scripture where we see God promising to strengthen us, to be with us, to give us what we need in the moment. Um, and why is that? Because we forget. I forget. Situations come up in my life um, that I let my emotions get in front of me first instead of realizing that none of this is mystery to God. Nothing that's happening in my life surprised God. In fact, He is ordaining everything and has a purpose for it in my life. Um, I love in, at the end of Matthew when you see uh, before you see Jesus ascending into heaven and he's on the hilltop with the, his disciples and others who have gathered around. Um, his last words were, And behold, I am with you always. Why do you think those were the last words that he said before he ascended into heaven? Because he knew that we were going to forget. That we were going to forget that just because we don't physically see Jesus' face in front of us, that He's not there. He is always there. So I hope you hold on to that today as we continue to dive into God's Word. Um, maybe share some of the promises of God that you've that have helped you, that have strengthened you, and uh, helped grow your faith. Um, and uh, let's continue this conversation and keep reminding us ourselves that God is with us. He will never forsake us. He will strengthen us with His righteous hand. Hope you have a great day.